They're making it easier for child predators? Well, Governor Gavin Newsom just signed a new law permitting a 24-year-old to have sexual relations with a 14-year-old and stay off the sex registry list. Adding to that depravity is that the state lawmaker behind the wretched new law, a Democrat named Scott Weiner, is the same official who got the penalty for knowingly exposing someone to HIV, reduced from a felony to a misdemeanor. Joining me now is Melissa Melendez, California State Senator. Senator Melendez, um, now the 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 uh, Weiner side of this, the uh, congressman, state representative, said that this is a complete distortion of what this law is. It just brings into parity the discretion that non-LGBT people um, get with sex offender uh, uh, registry designations. They say it's just bringing it into parity for the LGBT people. Your response? Well, Laura, first, I appreciate you having me on to talk about this. Um, he's wrong. I know he keeps trying to downplay it, but he's wrong. This does reduce the penalty for this type of crime. And I would love to have Senator Weiner tell us all, when exactly is it appropriate at any time for any 24-year-old person to have sex with a child? Because that is what he's suggesting with this bill. If he wants to talk about parity in the law, we can talk about that, but perhaps a better law would have been to make sure that any adult that has that's 24 years old that has sex with a 14-year-old gets a felony and goes on the sex offender registry list. What he's tried to do is water down the law, and that's the exact opposite of what we need. But the level of depravity coming out of Sacramento, I hope everybody is paying attention, because I'm telling you right now, they put Democrats in the White House, and you're going to see this kind of thing spread across the country. Well, I think what they're trying to do is turn the tables on anyone who questions this. And again, Senator Weiner um, called you out on Twitter specifically saying this is absolutely false. SB 145 does not in any way change what the crime is or what the punishment is. You're spreading false info. You should delete that tweet. Senator, were you spreading false information about the fact that a 24-year-old can have sexual relations with a 14-year-old and avoid this uh, registry for sexual offenders? Absolutely not. I know he wishes that that were true, but that is not the case. We had this debate on the Senate floor, and I asked the same question. When is it okay for a 24-year-old to have sex with a 14-year-old? Because what he is saying is if it's consensual, then it shouldn't be a crime. Well, when does a 14-year-old consent to sex. I mean, think about this. What he's doing is he is sending a message, um, start grooming your prey now before they turn 14, because once they turn 14, then you can escape punishment of the law by not being required to register as a sex offender. And also, you may possibly avoid being convicted of a felony. This is the exact wrong message. We're supposed to be protecting our children, not opening them up as victims to all the perverts out there who may look at this law and say, oh, well, this is great. All I have to do is start at age 12, grooming them by 14. They could they say, Oh, okay, I consent, and then they're free and clear. This is it's disgusting, and he well, well, is lowering, wrong. lowering, yeah, lowering the age of consent, whether by you know through this you know side door here or doing it uh, directly. I, I, it's it's abominable. Period. I mean, the idea that a 14 year old can give legal consent to sexual activity to an adult is it's uh, any type of sexual activity across the board. It's just completely well, preposterous. And, and he also tried to suggest that, because I think his comment was, we need to stop criminalizing sex between teenagers. So he's sort of suggesting we're talking about the 17 and 18-year-old high school couple. Mm -hmm. But if that's the case, why would you allow a 10-year age gap? For this type of crime, ten-year age gap. He didn't narrow it down to you know within one or two years age difference. He gave ten years, which opens the door for a twenty-four-year-old man to start grooming and have sex with a fourteen-year-old child. I have a fourteen-year-old son. Yeah. God help the person that ever comes near my kid. Uh, Senator Melendez, thank you for speaking out on this.